All right, we're going to give our praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashan Yahweh Shah, Bashan Kapu Tash. Give the honor to the Pastor Jim Esther as well. And uh, peace, bless, and salutation to Yahakim out there, pushing forth the truth from Yahakwa, tuning in. And uh, here's what I found is foreigners that are scattered. Uh, Sue Cockerva from Jim's Virginia. Pretty much why I want to do this lesson about um, the video I watched. The main point is, uh, you know, he goes to other things, but the title would really caught me. Because you got this manosphere, you got this, uh, um, you know, red pill going on. Um, let me let me see if I can find the scripture real quick. Let me see. Give me one moment. Let me see if this comes up. Something to this. <laughs> All right, this is a, a Sirach 36 and 25. So where no hedge is, there the possession is spoiled. And and he have, that have no wife will wander up and down mourning. Now, you got this whole title thing, you know, um, first the money, then girls. The thing about it is, um, you know, everything is biblical. Um, you know, Esau has came in, took our woman from us, so-called white people, you know, the, the, the nation of Edom. Um, so they have our woman as a possession. There's no hedge. So pretty much Esau pretty much uh, told him that you're free. You know, you can do what you want. There's no order. So you know they gave him uh you know you know again going into uh well hold on. Nah. Slide. So but pretty much uh you know. Scripture says it was no hedge. You men, so-called black, Latino, Hispanic men, because the problem is our women. Um, you know who's really facing it? So-called black, Latino, Hispanic, Native American men. And um, I've seen lately the Simeonite woman. She's out of fucking order. The Ephraimite woman is out of order. So-called black woman's out of order. The Benjamite woman's out of order. And their narrate is. Sexual liberation, do what they want, be equal to a man, men are enemies. Um, you look at traditional women as weak. Um, what else you have out there? The entitled, um, they want to keep, they want to hold, they, they're holding fast to this. I was watching a damn video yesterday, they're holding fast to this liberated, um bullshit so they can seem as if they got the power um so again where there's no hedges there's the possession spoiled and our women are spoiled and you know at the end of the day it's all about family it's about a man having his wives and his children and things to be in order scripture talks about that a man shall be with a woman a woman shall be with a man it tells you about how the age woman should be uh um, let me just get it. I got that. You got that one. Age woman. Then you have more age woman. Let me see. Let's get, bring this out real quick. The, uh, Titus two and three. The age woman likewise that be in hope behavior as becoming holiness, not false accusers. And that's that's heavy. Not give it to much wine. Teachers of good things. That they may teach the young women to be sober, to love their husband, to love their children, to be discreet, chaste, keepers at home, good, obedient to their own husbands, that the word of the Most High be not blasphemed. Um, get Sirach 
25 with some good points in that. Tarak, 25. I told you when a man get it for a woman, he get it for possession. So I'm going to go down. It says, uh, Sirach 25 1 and 3 things were beautified and stood up beautiful both before Yahweh and men. The unity of brethren, the love of neighbor, uh, the love of neighbors, a man and a wife that agreed together. Um, so that's the order of things. Man is the head of the woman, the woman, the man is the head of the woman, Yahweh shot the head of man, and the woman the head of the children. And so it's order. Um Verse 8, well is him that dwelleth with a wife of understanding, and that have not slipped with his tongue, and that have not secured a man, served a man more unworthy than himself. Um, Verse 26. Give me one moment. Um, yeah, blessed the man that have a virtuous wife, for the number of his days shall be double. And the thing about it, we understand we're going to get our true wives in the kingdom. So that's why we're going to be, one of the reasons why we're going to be, you know, have that immortality on us. Why? Because we're going to actually have wives in the kingdom. Right now, shit. Hey, I'm, I'm, hey man, all I'm gonna say is, uh, you know, uh, better, better love the Lord. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say. It says, uh, verse two: A virtuous woman rejoices her husband, and she shall fulfill the year, and he shall fulfill the years of his life in peace. It says, a good wife is a good portion, which shall be given in the given. In the portion of them that fear the Lord. It says. Uh, yeah oh shit. You know, I'm verse 5. There be three things that my heart fear. And for the fourth I was so afraid. The slander of a city, the gathering together of an unruly multitude, and a false accusation, man. That's, uh, we'll bring that out in my next lesson as well. But, you know, this false accusation is that these women, I mean, women are saying that men are, you know, misogynists, they're, they're you know, they're every bad thing in the book. And basically what I'm saying is women is sitting there saying men are, are their enemies, and they don't need to pair a bond. They don't need to settle down with one. They don't need to love a man. They just need to think about themselves and, and pretty much think about the bag. And, you know, they get pregnant and then hold that single mother entitled, you know, entitlement, whatever, you know, that trophy, which they, you know, get a crown. It's a lot. It says, uh, but a grief of heart and sorrow is a woman that is jealous over another woman and a scourge of the tongue which communes with all. It's an evil wife is a yoke shaken to and fro. He that have hold of her is as though he held a scorpion. A drunk woman and a gather abroad causes great anger and she will not cover her own shame. Uh, let me see. Verse 13. The grace of a wife delighteth her husband and her discretion will fatten will fat his bones <laughs> the all every woman out here has about 10 social media accounts and if she don't have 10 she'll stop she ain't getting a lot of attention and validation on them 10 she will start off the 11th one just so she can feel like she has options and see you can't deal with a woman like that on this side that you think you dealing with her and she always trying to have that leverage above you. Why? Because she never will really show you. She's not going to show you no respect. I mean, she'll deal with you and tolerate you. But as soon as you don't make her feel like she's the only one, you're my, like you her, you, uh, like, she, like, 
basically what I'm saying, you ain't acting like you drooling, you need her, like that old Motown shit, yo, she's talking to that other guy, it says, uh, a silent and loving woman is a gift of the Lord, and there is nothing so much worth as a mep is a mind while instructed. So a shame fast and faithful woman. See that faithful. You woman ain't faithful, man. I don't give a damn if you got money. I don't give a damn if you got the the, the rod, the, 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 the king's rod. I don't I don't it doesn't matter what you have, it's never enough. That's why I'm, you know, and it's gonna. I'm, I'm gonna go into that. I'm gonna go into it because you know when uh, you know these guys, they all talking about the bag, the bag, the bag, the bag, the bag, the you know wealth and such and such. Um, I mean he goes into saying that you know it's not why does it why is it always you you know you get the bag and then you get girls, it, you know, and really that's what a lot of guys are doing. You know they think, um, and that's the point of this lesson. You know you, you guys. You think you're gonna become this high value male, and then you just get these goddamn women. It doesn't matter. You can have, and I'm, and I'm gonna bring bring that out. Um, this is not the kingdom. That's why the point of this is to show you why is nothing here. Even why you should keep your riches and store your riches in the kingdom, because at the end of the day, you can have the money, the fame, the stars, whatever. You, you, your good status, a good name, it's still never enough. There's nothing here. Um, it says, uh, oh man, as the sun when it ariseth in the high heaven, yo, so is the beauty of a good wife in the ordering of her house. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh man, it says, uh, Let me see. Yeah, 20, verse 24. A dishonest woman could timeth shame, but an honest woman will reverence her husband. Okay, verse 25 is heavy in 23. 26. A woman that honoreth her husband shall be judged wise of him of all. But she that dishonored him in her pride, you see that? For these women have, hey, just watch Fresh and Fit. Watch, uh, um, man, shit, there's a lot of that people channel. Just watch them, you, you, you see it. Every, you know, these women are exposing themselves, man. They, they are exposing themselves. The woman that honored her husband shall be judged wise of all. You women get on the platform or stage and they, and, and they, and they honor themselves. You wouldn't even think they got husbands, even if, if they did. You wouldn't think they had men. They booty out. Uh, man, it was one fresh and fit joint I watch. Girl says she got this uh, older guy she met, and she um dealing with him, whatever. And she got up and show her show her ass on, 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 on the goddamn set. Like, hold on, I thought you. So there you go. A woman that honor her husband shall be judged wise of all, but she that dishonored him in her pride shall be counted ungodly of all. It says, uh, so yeah, yeah, that's, that's, that's that, um, going back to the video, I'm not going to play it, you see the title again, the problem with focus on money, then girls mindset, um, Let's get the scriptures about friends. KJV Sirach. Um. Let me see if I can jump around. Yeah, so, you know, when you get that, when you come a high-value male, or you trying to you get a uh, taste that, that's name, that stardom, and so forth on this side, what happened is you get a lot of fake friends, and a lot of people become, you, you really become a target 
you know, women really, that's why you got a lot of uh, dudes now that bring it forth that uh, a lot of these women are targeting basketball players because they know that they're just giving the money. Why? Because they can, it's crazy because these bitches don't even, don't even be cute, man. Um, so what they do, they doll themselves up, you know, act like they like the guy, give them, you know, <laughs> turn on that button, you know, trying to caress them and act like they like them, give them the pussy, get them knocked up, and then they, you turn to a straight demon. And then, bam, bag secured. Now you got to pay her for 18 years. And that's what's going on. You you become a target, man. Dudes, and all of them, man. You know, you got um, times where, um, um, you know, people will just be by you because of your name, who you are. And then when you ever fall, that's when, they, that's when they, they're gone with it. So it's Sirach 37 and 1. Every friend says, I am his friend also. But there is a friend which only... Which is only a friend in name. Um, yeah, it is. Is it not a grief unto death when a companion and friend is turned to an enemy? It says, uh, a wicked, uh, hold on. It says, uh, there is a companion which rejoiceth in the prosperity of a friend, but in the time of trouble will be against him. So let you, you know, you, yeah, you don't, you ain't gonna always have it, man. You're gonna be a time, you know, here it is, you know, you that guy at the moment, you know, you got the girls, and I actually heard dudes, uh, one thing, I actually heard dudes that, that said, you know, they used to hang out with my father because, you know, he would get, you know, had women and so forth. So basically they used the, the name that my dad had just so they can get women. So, and that's just how, that's how people are. And, you know, that, that's what I'm saying. You, you become this, that's what I'm saying. You, you, we live in a, a wicked ass society. There's no love here. It, it, it's, it's nothing, everybody, you know, the scripture says, men should be lovers of themselves. Everybody's thinking about themselves. Everybody's thinking about that moment. That moment of dopamine release, so to speak. That high, that fast, that, you know, that uh, I can throw this on uh, social media. Make it seem like I'm, I'm, I'm living like that. I, 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 I slept with so-and-so and I got the Birkin and so forth, man. It says, um, so, it says there's a companion which results from the prosperity of a friend. And, you know, here it is, you, you know, uh, <laughs> you got a whole, uh, it's a whole room of, uh, you know, women and dudes, and you talking, and you know, you 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 may say you may you may do a test. You may be like, I'm gonna just say something stupid. You say the you say something stupid, and they just laugh. Everybody just starts laughing. And you say to yourself, Hold on, man, that shit wasn't even funny. That, was, that shit was dumb. What I just said, and that's when you realize everybody you got around you is not is not for you. They just there because you the man of the hour, and that's the world that we live in. Um, and not a lot of friends like this, man. You know, there's not a lot of people that are, you know, that's going to ride and die with you anymore. And them days are kind of over with. But, hey, that's why the Lord said, come back, uh, Zephaniah, to a one, gather thyself, gather thyself for a nation not desired. Um... Yeah, and that's another thing too. You gotta watch people who <laughs> try to come to you and try to, you know, hey man, it, it, it's a dirty game. You know, you like I said, when you out there amongst that world, the higher up, man, it's, it's a dog eat dog world. It doesn't, you know, if it cut you out of place or a lot of jealousy and envy is up there. So you know, it's a lot of people that act like he wants to help you for good, but lead you into a damn ditch. Um, it says every council extolled for counsel, but there's some that he's also counsel for himself. 
Beware of a counselor and know before what he what need he have, for he will counsel for himself, as he cast a lot upon thee and said to thee, Thy way is good, and after he stand on the other side <laughs> to see what shall befall thee. Consult not with one that suspecteth thee, and hide thy and hide thy counsel from such as envy thee. And that's a lot, yo, I'm telling you, man. You know, you may come like for instance, you may have a good plan to come up with something. They like, nah, 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 don't. Man, that shit, man, nah, that, that shit ain't gonna, nah, 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 ain't gonna do that. Nah, 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 they ain't gonna do that. He took your idea and run with it. He make, you know, he steal your ideas. Or, there's a lot of things out there, man. You know, like I said, when you in that limelight, got that money, and everybody see them women flocking to you, and, you know, then come other people that, that mean um, evil towards you, man. And that's the world we live in it, too. It's, you know, like, it's Jake just think, oh, I get the, I get the bag. Then I get girls. Nah, man. It, it, we, we live in a dog. We, li we live in a fucked up society, man. Um, so, Lucky, I didn't. Um, hold on. Bear with me real quick. Yeah, um, Sirach, I mean, Sirach 6 and 7. Oh, man. If thou would, wouldest get a friend, prove him first, and be not hasty to credit him. Yeah, because you got to, it's, it's, again, it's a doggy dog world. You don't know if it, it, you know, this person come to belittle you, just see what what you got, then take it, um, everything from you, uh, you know, try to take your women or, say, man, it, man, you know, it's a lot of shit. You got to. Even when you just a re regular guy, you got to be wary. How much more um, these wicked ass niggas in 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 a, in a world where it's all about money? Who can make more? Who can just make a, a a buck or make more money? Man, this world is treacherous, man. That's why hey, Jake always fathom about. I want to be rich. I want to be rich. I want to get the bag. I want to get money, man. Okay. More money, more problems, man. It says, uh, yeah, for some man is a friend for his own occasion and will not abide in the day of thy trouble. You know, so he, he may take you to uh, some party, right? You think, yeah, man, man, yo, man, I got these girls for you, man, you know, boom, boom, boom. He might set you up, man. Or, you know, something might happen and, you know, Man, it's a lot, man. It's a lot. You know, you Jakes know what happens out there. And, you know, you, you Jakes know, you know, what this world consists of. Assist, uh, yeah, consists of uh, what type of people that we're living amongst, man. You know, if you got to watch, just look at what Jake do in, in, in the inner cities, man. And them, and them niggas is broke and they think they got money. They think they live in large. How much more the world when you up there who... Has inducted this world to live like it is, man. Um, even in the business business of CDL trucking, it is it, it, dirty. Yeah, so you know, man, it's it's a doggy dog world, man. You look at the music industry. Look at just look at, you know, just just sit back and just, just look at things. You know, it says um. And there is a friend who, being turned to enmity and strife, will discover thy reproach. Again, some friend is a companion at the table and will not continue in the day of thy affliction. But in thy prosperity, he will be as thyself and we and will be bold over thy servants. So he said, yeah, man, y'all heard what he said. He said he want this. Yeah, man. Man, you're like, man, come on, yeah, man. That's my dog. That's my dog. And he go right into verse 12. If thou be brought low. <laughs> and I got to, uh, again, there you go. The problem with focus on money 
Then girls mindset. Bring that back up. So hey, you you that man, you, you that guy. Is there another one that talks about rich? Um I can't think about it off top. But yeah, it says uh hold on. Yeah, but in thy prosperity he will be as thyself. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, y'all him like yeah, he agree. Yeah, man, I like that too. Yeah, 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 man. Yeah, dog, man. Yeah, man, you know. Yeah, yeah, man, you right, dog, bruh. Yeah, man, you you know, such and such, boom. Blase, blase, yeah, man, you. Then then it says, if thou be brought low, he will be against thee <laughs> and will hide himself from thy face. So, you, know, so, you know, and and everybody had, see, going back to what I said earlier about that's that moment you realize you said that dumb joke and everybody's laughing and you say to yourself, hold on, man. That shit was dumb. When I, that shit was corny as hell. And that's when you realize, you know, these ain't your people. And, and see, not everybody, you, you know, that, that fame and that stardom, it don't last forever. You know, especially on this side. But see, the, you know, what we're chasing for is that uh, uncorruptible crown, which, you know, our fame and our honor is going to be is going to be forever. You know, immortality. Hey, you know, we, we, we speak about the prophets and apostles to this very day. Yeah, I was shy to this very day. And, they, and, and they're going to always, the, the records of, of what they did is always going to be out there to look at. So our greatness is always going to be accounted for. You do something on this side, make a hit record or whatever, it's forgotten about. You know, you don't, you know, these people don't really leave no great. At the end of the day, man, Mike Tyson and Ali and all these jakes that have done so-called like uh, monumental things, but then years later, it, it, you know, something comes out about him. You know, Bill Cosby was a rapist, whatever. R. Kelly, he's a free, he's into the freak show. Mike Tyson, he was on drugs and and so forth, man. You know, they always find a way to taint your name. And see, just look at celebrities, man. Look at look at Jake. Just look, just sit back and look at Jake. One time he was that guy. The shit got rough. Oh, man, what's, man, it was an interview I was um, watching, and pretty much, um, you know, they was close at first, but then, but then you know, when that, that affliction came, he, he they don't even talk no more, and, I, and you, you would think, I forgot what rapper that was, and you would think, damn, man, y'all, you know, y'all was, it, it was, it was, it was no you, and wasn't, without him, it was, no, you will know you without him, so to speak. And then, you know, now, you know, basically what I'm saying is y'all was together because of because of money. Y'all were making money. But then when shit got hard, y'all went y'all separate, separate ways. And see, that's the world we live in. It says, uh, separate thyself from thy enemies and take heed of thy friends. It says, uh, faithful friend is a strong defense. And he that have found such and one have found a treasure. You know? And that's why, you know, one thing I can say about this truth, you really find unity with the brethren. And the thing about it is, why is there unity as we have in a brother? I mean, in, the, in, in, you know, what we call, well, the truth, Salaki, is because we, we, we we were, were 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 rehearsing the righteous acts, and then like the scripture says, Yahweh Shah said, um, "No greater love is him that uh, life his life down for his friend." And what the scripture said, "Loveth thy neighbor as thy love thyself." And it, and he said, "Love no other power. Love no other power. No other God." Put no God, other gods before me, and love thy neighbor. They love thyself, and that's the greatest commandments. And see, we don't see no God. We don't want no harm. We're not see when a brother go. We we carry each other's burdens. And see, the world don't do that. The world is just, again going back. Let me just get it. We're talking about this all day. You know, for for whole past, for past week, lovers of themselves. This is the world that we live in. 
through nothing but grief and strife. It tells you that. Um, second Timothy one, no, sorry, second Timothy three and one. This know also that in the last days perilous times shall come, for men shall be lovers of themselves, of their own selves, convetious, boasters, proud, blasphemous, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy. Without natural affection, truth breakers, false accusers, incontinent, fear, despised of those that are good, traitors, heady, high minded, lovers of pleasures more than lovers of, of Yahweh, having a form of godly, but deny the power thereof of such turn away. And that's the world that we live in. And all, you know, all this Esau's code names, bullshit, all that falls into this, man. What's the, um, Envy, what is that? Envy, shit, sloppy. Envy, rust of the world. Salaki, number four and five, hold on. Uh, yes, let me see. It's not the one I wanted. Yeah, yeah, so, uh, yeah, 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 First John 2 and 15, it says, love not the world, neither the things that are in the world, it's like, again, I don't I'd be having scriptures just lined up, I just, you know, um, turn these videos on, and I just try to go through the spirit, it says, uh, love not the world, neither the things that are in the world, if any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him, for all that is in, is in the world, the lust of the flesh and the lust of the eyes and the pride of life is not of the Father, but is of the world. And the world passeth away and the lust thereof, but he that doeth the will of Yahweh abideth forever. So again, you know, you trying to chase this high, high, you know, roll, you know, um, get the money, get the bag, then get girls. And you feel like you, you, you miserably mistaken, man. Uh, One, hold on. Um, yeah, verse 15 Nothing doeth countervail a faithful friend And his excellency is in, is invaluable See that? One thing uh, Black, so-called black men and Hispanic men Latino men has been, has been taught Is to hate each other Because Esau knew that you know, once we look at each other as neighbors and love love each other, we will we you know, we were not pretty much. Uh, I mean, like I said, man, we we'll be untouchable. We'll be untouchable. It says, uh, you, you shall Jake do for they self and try to ball out with it. Just think about if our na if our nation really thought about each other and cared for each other. It says, uh. Yeah, a faithful friend is the medicine of life, and they that fear the Lord shall find him. And that's the elect. It says, uh, Whoso feareth the Lord shall direct his friendship aright, for as he is, so shall his neighbor be also. So, there you go. Um, 
Yeah, you, 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 man, I'm telling you that that world, the world, man, is is treacherous. Like I say, you 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 Jake's always talking about this high value male shit and chasing the bag shit, want to get rich shit. Yeah, man, you can have it, man. Um, I'm done with that. Um, store your your riches. Matthew 6 19. So like I said, lay not up for yourself treasures upon earth where moth and rust do corrupt and where these break through and steal. And that's dude, that's some people, man. You, you, you know, you got the money, you that guy, whatever. You know, you got the muscles, you ripped up, you take care of your body. You know, you, you making, you know, what, 100000 200000 300000 whatever. You got a million, two million, couple million dollars in your account. You got the women around you and so forth. You you know your status is high. Like, yeah, that, yeah, that. I know him. That's that guy right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes you a fucking target, man. It says, uh, I mean, you talking about you getting rich, man. That just shows you the, 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 the fucking time, the, the, the mindset you're in. At the end of the day, man, rich and wealth is those, those elites that, that can fucking start a war and... They'll murder you, and and and, and nobody can nobody comes to court. Look look at what Esau did to uh, our people, and look what they did to the, uh, you know the, the the you know those so called Italians and so forth, and, and and look at um what they did to the northern northern kingdom, and, and have, have any of the motherfuckers been trial been trial yet? Nope. That's that's riches. That's wealth. That's power. Took a whole goddamn world and whitewash it. That's power. That's that's you know that's wealth. They got they got respect, man. They got they got so much damn respect. You got fucking so called black ass niggas and women and other nations that and that 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 have so called black skin. They want to look like the goddamn devil. That show them that shows you right there what real riches and power and wealth is, man. You got a whole goddamn other nation people that want to be like you and talk like you. Want to learn English. Um, yeah, yeah, but lay up for yourself treasures in heaven where neither moth nor rust do corrupt and where thieves do not break through nor steal. Again, you know, um, women are one of the biggest enemies, man. All they look for is a secure bag, that, you know, to be taken care of pretty much for nothing, you know. If women don't love you, that you know that they're, they're, they're in that mode of destruction. This they, they think about their self, their self is the niggards, man. You know, for where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. Um, is there any more? It was one this I, I I spoke about this before, but this is a real good um Jorge Valdez. Yeah. <laughs> Watch this first one. What hey about this? I don't. I haven't seen. I don't. I don't. Yeah. I don't. I didn't watch this one. But one thing he said in this one, this video right here, the first one. He's a Manashite, and he pretty much said he had the, all the money. He had all the women. He had, the, you know, respect and so forth. But he still felt empty. Still felt empty. I mean, he goes off and then says, you know, he, when he found, you know, he says Jesus. But my point is, when he said when he found the Lord, he, you know, he, he was full, so to speak. We know, you know, who the, who the Lord really is. But my point is, you know, for us that's in the, in the know, the truth, we understand that, you know, we get comfort and we feel full. That's why the scripture says, uh, you drink, receive these work, water, kissing, roughly paraphrasing, you shall not be thirsty anymore. You eat from this, you know, you shall be full, you know. But these people, you know, they think, 
Oh, yeah, that's not. Yeah, they think they get money and then they get girls. That's gonna, fuf, you know, fulfill them. That's gonna make them feel better. But that's they're sadly mistaken. So if you got this mindset, you're, you're sadly mistaken. You gotta. You, what's that word? <laughs> it's a dude. Uh, it's old Jake. Coon. Fucking Babylonian. But he <laughs> he said this. Yo, he would say. Uh, if you don't do uh, such and such, you know, CDL shit, um, pretty much. I was basically, he, what'd he say? He's like, uh, if you get, you know, put, messing around, not paying attention inside that, you know, the truck, pretty much, you, you know, he would say, you're going to have a bad day. <laughs> have a bad day. So basically what I'm going to say is, you, fo- you think you're going to focus on money, then get girls, and then life is going to be okay, you're going to have a bad day. <laughs> hey, uh, Los Royals, y'all was edified. You know, again, I'm going to give call. I want to say call, Lord, y'all, by Shunyah Rashad. Yeah, again, uh, dub, uh, I want to say double honest to Apostle Jim Mess, that rules well, that um, we t- that we learned from. Um, again, a salutation to Yakim, Aqua tuning in. And again, man, you know, hey, focus on y'all, by Shunyah Rashad. Focus on um, the Lord coming back to redeem us, restore us, you know. Because, again, um, let me just say this, you know. Um, we, we, we understand that uh, we've been put in captivity. So we understand, you know, we all have our lots and, you know, what we will we'll be able to do. But all in all, we know that the end goal is not money or girls. The end goal is to please Yahweh Shem and the Lord's world be saved through his mercy and grace. And with that, I'm going to say Shalom.